Hi Aries, welcome to your spring love reading. Welcome in, welcome in. So let's see what's coming in for you this spring season. Aries, what's coming in, what's going out, what's blossoming, what's growing, what's regenerating. Time of growth, expansion, new things. Could be things coming back. So we'll see what we have for you. This is to cover the whole spring season. So that is March 20th to June 19th. So let's see what's coming in for you, Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Not everything in here may resonate, including the signs that I mentioned. And you can definitely switch the energies around if you need to. So I'm going to get you some oracles here, and then we're going to jump to the tarot and see what's coming in. And I'm taking the bottom of the deck, one card from the bottom of the deck, and I will show you those at the end. And there'll be an extended reading, so if this does resonate for you, um, in the extended reading, we're going to use the bottom of the decks as uh, extra energy. So you can stay tuned for that. All right, Aries, let's get you one more oracle. And if this does resonate for you and you're interested in the extended, everything you need to know about me and this channel and the extended is down below. And if you're new, welcome in. If you're coming back. Thank you, thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, so let's get you. And if you do resonate with this, please do give it a thumbs up. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. It helps to get the videos out there. All right, Aries. Summer loving, spring love, spring love. This is for spring love. Maybe you've got some summer loving coming up, too. This could lead into summer loving. Who knows? All right, let's just get one card for Aries. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you. And you know what? I've got the bottoms of the decks. Let me just grab those. Okay, I'm going to stick those over here. All right, Aries. We have Remembrance, and we have 21, which is three. Three is a number of uh, rebuilding. It can be teamwork, collaboration, uh, or it could be building new. It can be an energy of reuniting, uniting, coming together. Remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Something's coming back to the surface for you, perhaps, and the tribe. We have eight. Eight is a number of taking action, travel, communication. And we have Trust. You can trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you the guidance you seek. So maybe, it, you know, some, maybe so it's for some of you, something significant happened uh, for you around the last spring season. And, you know, maybe it's starting to resurface around that time. You know, it could have been a loss of some kind. Maybe it was an ending of a relationship or something significant in your life. And this is telling you here that you could call on your friends, your family, your co-workers, whoever you call your soul tribe, the ones that you trust, the ones that you hold near and dear to your heart that you love dearly and they love you dearly. You trust them, they trust you. And you can um, ask for them for guidance in the advice that you seek to help you get through maybe a tough time around this time right now. So it could be a very emotional time for you. And you see like one reaching out to the other here. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on. Let's get your tarot. See if there's anything new, new coming in for Aries. New coming in for Aries at this time. Spirit, please thank you so much for Aries. Welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, what do we have? So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So there's something in your head. I feel like whatever you went through last, maybe spring, uh, maybe you, you felt like it was a really tough, tough time. Maybe it's something that you never get out of your head. But there's something new coming in for you. The promise of something new here with the Ace of Pentacles is divinely guided for you. It's going to be handed to you from the universe. And it's an opportunity for long-term growth and expansion in some way, shape, or form. But we need to break out of this routine in our head of maybe, you know, remembering, especially around this time for you, if that resonates, um, bringing up these feelings that, you know, just going around and around the start. There's that deep healing, Aquarius energy. So there's something maybe that, um, again, coming to the surface that you need to heal. 
But the star here is, you know, faith, hope, optimism, which the dream's coming true, divinely guided energy, and deep, deep healing. So there's people around you that can help you heal. All right. Let's get... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Four Aries. Four Aries. I'm just feeling like the promise of something new. That Ace of Pentacles, to me, is sort of like the Sun card. So we have the uh, Page of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there could be someone around you that's kind of been keeping an eye on you, not in a creepy way. Uh, and maybe it's someone that's have had feelings for you, but maybe they've kept them to themselves for like the past year because you went through something. Went through something last year, I feel, maybe around this time. Yeah, somebody waiting. Yeah, someone waiting here, kind of like keeping an eye on you. And I, I get this feeling of, like, making sure you're okay. Like, you may not even know it because you see this person over here has their back to the other one. So they may not uh, even, they kind of probably do it in a way where you don't even notice. But someone has been uh, waiting here, Four of Swords, while someone does their healing. You know, maybe you went through a really bad divorce last year. Or here's my Divine Clarity from Source with the Ace of Swords. Uh, Libra here with justice. So maybe you went through a really, really heartbreaking bad divorce or something here. And, you know, someone knew you needed to heal, that it wasn't time. But here's a positive movement forward. So the chariot. So I feel like somebody is kind of getting ready to make a move here towards you. Maybe they feel like a year was the appropriate amount of time to wait for some of you. All right, let's get more here for Aries. Very interesting. Aries, 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 the spring season, March 20th, which is coming up Saturday already. I'm filming this on the uh, 16th. It should be out tomorrow, the 17th. Five of Pentacles. That's feeling kind of lonely, you know, even though, but if you add the five and the ace, that would give you the six of pentacles, very balanced, balanced energy. I feel like someone's been waiting kind of to give you their pentacle. <clears throat> Sorry, which the five of pentacles and the ace would give you the six, very balanced. Someone wants to give you their pentacle so they can help bring balance to you. The pentacles are like aligning, if you see that. They're like aligning right up here. The five of pentacles that you've been in are aligning to this big, bright, beautiful new pentacle coming in for you. And you may not feel that way. You may not see it that way. But there's something coming in here. All right. Oops, what's this? That's too many. Okay. Four Aries. Four Aries. The world. Yeah. So this could be Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. So this is closing, yeah, definitely closed out a cycle, but this is about a new cycle starting. Could be traveling, could be about traveling or distance. The fool resetting. So after the world energy always comes the fool. The world energy is, you know, you've been through every step of the major arcana. You know, you went through a lot of trials, tribulations, lessons learned, a lot of energy that we've gone through. So we've learned our lessons, you know, we... Ended cycles that were no longer serving us and we we're ready for new cycles of resetting our energy back to zero, the full energy here, to stop kind of like over again in a way, but in a better energy because you already learned everything through the major arcana. Superior's energy with the full. So definitely uh, new energy here. It's divinely guided. It's right under the star. It's divinely guided to you to take the sleep of faith. But then, you know, that's in your hands to take the sleep and I feel like somebody here kind of someone that's been like worrying about you make you know once you know maybe it's somebody you work with or it could be a friend or an associate kind of like always making sure you're okay you know maybe it is someone that you're in communication with all right you know Prince of Swords is usually somebody who kind of watches but they don't really say much maybe on social media or around you. King of Pentacles. Ooh. Somebody could be a boss. Could be someone who owns a business if it's not a boss. Someone who's very stable, grounded, secure. 
You see that? They're ready to give you that pentacle, which is right there. And if you add five ace in this king's pentacle, that's seven that we saw earlier about waiting to give you their pentacle. Oh my God, they've been waiting to give you their pentacle. I think I got that before for a reading, but I'm not sure if it was Aries. So that's Virgo energy. Queen of Swords. Yeah, they know you've been through a lot here. The Queen of Swords has been through a lot. Libra energy. So it could have been that you were with a... Um... Oh, that's in the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. This up here is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody getting ready to take action towards you. That's a We got two cards of Aquarius here. This deck is a little bit different because I just saw the Princess of Swords, which is the page. The Prince of Swords is the Knight. Sorry about that. Someone that feels very strongly about you. Leo energy here. And again, someone, but again, someone who's been like waiting and watching and wanting to give you their pentacle. But know that you went through a very tough time here. You know, you could have, you know, went through something with a fire sign. Uh, or this is your energy, Leo, Sag, or Aries. But I feel like here, yeah, all right. So I feel like someone here definitely could be taking action soon here to give you their pentacle. But definitely someone who's been, I feel like either watching from afar or, you know, maybe if it's someone you do keep in contact with, always making sure you're okay. So if there's someone around you that you feel their energy like that, this could be someone who's interested in you. So we have the King of Cups and we have the Page of Pentacles. So... Pisces and Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So somebody here who has a lot of unspoken love, who has a lot of feelings that they've never shared. But again, watching someone, keeping tabs on someone, waiting again to give that pentacle, which is right here. Someone they see very beautiful, mystical, uh, and, you know, strong, stable, grounded, who's been through a lot, went through a lot. Again, watching, making sure they're okay. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more. Well, a couple more. Let's get a couple more for Aries. What's going on here? That's too many. A couple more for Aries. They've been waiting you. They've been waiting to give you this offer. Okay. So we got the three of wands again. A, a card of waiting. <laughs> Spirit coming through. They're a little stressed about it though. Nine of Swords. A little bit stressed. Not sure if they're going to get um, rejected. Or whatever here, but they've been waiting. They've been waiting to manifest this. Waiting for the right time. But, you know, they got a little bit of stress here. Not sure how you feel. Not sure if you're really ready. But I feel like they're ready. But, you know, they got stress here. They're nervous. Judgment. They made a final judgment here. Scorpio energy. Again, this could be a past life connection here. Forgiveness, letting go of the past. Two of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Soulmate, Twin Flame energy. Page of Wands, exciting offer. They could, they really see themselves like settling down with you, I feel. But again, making that judgment call, is it the right time? You know, are things finally calmed down? Are things finally balanced out where I can make this move? Um, again, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving the past, letting it go. Something meant to be that's supposed to come in uh, like the universe already made a judgment call on this. You get judgment, and then you get the world, and then you get the fool. So, something is about to happen here. That is for sure, Aries. Wow. Somebody's definitely been through an ending, because we did see the Ten of Swords right there. Yeah, someone's definitely single. I feel that's you. But again, Divine Alchemy here with Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. And look, the Two of Cups behind that Soulmate Union. Oh my goodness. And the Empress, oh my. So again, Divine Alchemy, Patience, something meant to be, healing, balance, peace and joy, and harmony. Someone as they see as their Empress, they've been waiting, wow, hoping and praying that you're ready, that they won't be rejected, but they're a little bit nervous, I feel, Aries, wow. So before we go into the extended, again, everything you know is below, let's take a look at these cards. And all the March readings are coming out. And um, actually, they are all out. So if you're interested in all your March love readings, singles readings, you can find them all on the channel. And you can see all the links there up above or at the end. So for the extended here, we do have the Temptress. Okay, we'll see what that's going to be about. To be fair, that's been coming out a lot. And you are healed. Oh, all right. 
Aries. So again, if you go to the extended, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you, and I shall see you next time.